Welcome to part 6, Application Monitoring. Application Monitoring allows PowerHA to monitor your applications. It's optional, but it's highly recommended. Without it, PowerHA doesn't actually know whether your applications are up or down. In order to ensure that event processing does not hang due to failures in your scripts and to prevent holdup during event processing, PowerHA has always started the application in the background. There's no wait or error checking, and in multi-tiered environments there's no easy way to ensure that the applications of higher layers have been started. Application monitoring provides for self-healing clusters. You can have multiple application monitors per application controller or application server, up to 128 cluster wide. There are two types of application monitors you configure, process and custom. Process monitors for a set of processes and triggers recovery for process fails. Custom monitors can be used to verify if the application is actually doing some useful work. For example, a database monitor could periodically send transactions to the database engine, verify the response and return uh, an exit code. Let's have a look at application monitoring in action. Here's a nice simple example to prove the usefulness of application monitoring. Um, here we're looking at a cluster status on our primary node, HA71A. Uh, the Grumpy Resource Group is online. But let's take a closer look. If we're to CD into the um, testfs uh, file system, which Grumpy writes logs to, uh, let's just tail the Grumpy log. Uh, we can see here it came up at 14.27, uh, started writing some happy logs and then failed at 14.28. So the application's down, yet the cluster status is saying the resource group is available. So what can we do? Well, we're going to add an application monitor. So I'll go into cluster applications and resources, resources user applications, application monitors. Uh, we're going to actually add a custom monitor because I've actually written a, a, a check script uh, that just returns whether Grumpy is actually running or not. So I'm going to add a monitor and I'm going to call it Grumpy App Mon. I always think it's useful if you're debugging in log files to give the monitor a different name to the application controller. Uh, there are three possible types, so you can just have a monitor to specify whether the application started or just a repeat monitor to check whether it's uh, continuously running or both. So I'm going to have my monitor do both. Monitor method is the check script, so uh, use a local grumpy, grumpy check is my script. And the monitor interval is the repeat time. So I'm going to say run every 10 seconds. Hung monitor signal, we can leave default. Uh, this is um, if grumpy check was to hang, uh, the system would, um, well, by default, issues a kill minus nine. Uh, stabilization period, I'm going to have as 10 seconds. This is really the key in the process because it's the differentiating time to, between the startup and the long running. So what will happen in this case is the application start script will be invoked as a background process. Our power HA will wait 10 seconds and then run the start script or run the grumpy check script to see whether the application has started. If it started successfully then it will wait another 10 seconds and run grumpy check again and then continuously run grumpy check every 10 seconds. Restart count is the number of times our power HA will attempt to stop and start the application on the node before doing something. Uh, doing something can be just notify which will send output to the console and write output into the logs or we can do something maybe a little bit more meaningful than that and actually fall over to the next node in the list. The restart interval will be calculated automatically. It's the amount of time if the application was to fail 
sometimes uh, the restart count actually gets decremented so the restart interval is the period of time when it actually resets the counter back to 5 so I'm just going to put 100 seconds in there notify method is an optional script you can supply that can do other things like if the um, hung, uh, if the monitor method was to fail uh, you could actually get it to uh, to send an email out or send an SMS text uh, the cleanup and restart are by default the stop and start um, scripts for the application so uh, you can specify slightly different ones the reason why it differentiates between um, stop start to clean up and restart is that your clean up and restart scripts might be different you might actually uh, do some extra checking and processing so I know that when Grumpy's dead that it is truly dead so I'm going to delete this the, the clean up script and the restart uh, method there is just fine it's just a normal start script so let's add that monitor so once the monitor is added we need to sync the cluster so we can use CL manager to do that so CL manager sync cluster and then while we're waiting for cluster sync if we have a if we do a tail minus F on grumpy log so what we should see is when the synchronization process is completed um, the application check script should be run it should fail and then uh, power ha will pick up the non-zero return code and re-execute the application start script And there we have it, folks. Grumpy is now uh, started again and uh, writing happy logs. So we just checked back um, a few minutes later, and as you can see, uh, Grumpy keeps failing, and application monitoring uh, continues to um, re invoke the application to keep it highly available. I uh, hope you found that useful. Thank you.